Hello YouTube. Um, I forgot to open my special edition legendary L crate box. I know I got behind in some of my boxes, but with like school ending and everything, it was just crazy. But I'm gonna show it to you in case you haven't seen it. So for my fellow followers that haven't seen it yet. But this is what it looks like inside. And with some of these boxes, if you don't tell them within a certain time frame that you need a replacement item or you didn't get something, then they don't give it to you. So I really need to stick up with this. So, But I haven't had any problems with any company uh, replacing something except for uh, Faye Crate who gave me a hard time about a Polaroid because um, they said their service uh, is 15 days or something. So I try to unbox that one as soon as possible. <laughs> but um, I have two autistic kids and one ADHD kid, so it is hard sometimes to get this done. But anyway, it's the Caravel, Stephanie Garber, who's just the sweetest thing. I haven't met her yet, but I would like to. I follow her on Instagram. The first thing I see is a Rose and Adder Alcrate exclusive um, candle, and it's sugared citrus and sea salt, and it's Mr. of Caravel. And I was super sad I wasn't able to get the fairy loot one, which looked really cool, but I was able to get out great. So, oh, stuff popped out when I opened it. Um, it comes with this, like, stuff in it, and it's super cute. I don't think I've gotten a candle from them before. Oh, it smells really good. I think I'm going to save that one. All right. And then we've got a shower steamer. And it says, come back yesterday. Strawberries dipped in, dipped in pink sugar. I love strawberries, so I think I will use that. I like shower steamers way more than bath bombs. All right, the next thing I see is the pin, which you could have gotten different variants of the pin. And it's by Alchemy and Ink. And I got the spades card. I think that's spades, pretty sure. I don't play cards very often. <laughs> I used to play war with my brothers and that's about it. And then we've got this little, um, I love these little containers that are metal. The only thing is, um, my ones that come from overseas are usually bent. Um, uh, actually I got a replacement one for my Luma crate one. If you guys have watched my stories, you saw it got all dented, but it also has a dent in the side, but I'm just going to go with it. But this one is not, but this is shipped in the U S so, um, Caravelle. And it's just a pretty box. Um, I don't have the Cruel Prince one that they had, but I wish I could get it. And then inside it looks like this. And this is not all beat to heck, like my one from Europe. But I guess sometimes you get that. This is a really pretty box. I'm looking out for the Cruel Prince one, but I haven't found it yet. I wish they would have put that in the box. I find this box is better than the Wicked King one. All right, the next thing I see is this Caravel tote. And it's kind of a, it's really pretty, but it is kind of a thin material. So you wouldn't want to put like your biggest books ever in here. Like if you have textbooks or whatever, but just regular books would be fine. I've had some that have broken on me before. I like how the strap is longer. A lot of them have like really short straps and you can't like keep it on you. All right, we got some fluff, and my kids are hidden right now, so they can't get to it. Um, we've got this, and I think this is a pillowcase. So I have seen spoilers for this box, and I thought I opened it, but I didn't. Um, I'm not ready to read the book yet. I, I haven't quite got that far in my TBR. But uh, here is the pillowcase, which it's super pretty. I love the colors on it. The only drawback is, is it's not double-sided. I like double-sided just due to the fact that my kids get to things and they put things all over on the white side. So the one side looks pretty and the other side looks like little kitty fingers all over it. All right, the next thing I see is this beautiful print. And I believe that's Tella and uh, Legend. And this print, Scarlet and Dante. Those are really nice prints. And then we've got the deck of cards. And between this deck of cards and uh, fairy loots, I liked this one better. So 
And then we have the book. And then we have a little booklet with it. So the little booklet uh, tells us what we've got. So I'll save that for last. Here's the book. Um, what's different about this book is it's not purple. It's uh, red, which goes with the theme pretty well. And <clears throat> it's got the author note, and then it's got this little um, sticker that says, you'll never find to magic in this world, or the closest you'll ever find to magic in this world, the world of Caravelle. And I believe it's signed in there too. I don't want to get it out because my kids. <clears throat> and then, um, in these cards, which I'm sorry, I want to show you guys. There's plenty of spoilers online. Like I said, I'm pretty late on this. You can find it on Instagram. Actually, probably on their website too, um, here shortly. But uh, this has um, drawings from Simone, which is uh, Morgan o Morgan Morgana, um, who does, I love her work, Nicole Deal, Gina Hilton, and Diana DeWark who I also enjoy her artwork. So there's some artwork in here of some of the characters from uh, Caraval, which is fabulous. So I would show them to you, but I don't want my kids to get to these because I really like these. They have the gold foil on the sides of them and I don't want them. I have a son who likes cards and he likes to throw them all over the house. I've got magic cards everywhere. He took from his dad's and they're everywhere. So yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to leave those in there for now until he's a little bit older or if I can hide them really well. Alright, here's the difference of the two boxes, or books of Mally. And then uh, it's got a just for, oh, looky here. Here's the designs of the cards right there. As you can see, they are beautiful. So some great artists worked on those. And we've got... Uh, Lilu Soap did the um, Shower Fizzer, which she did the soap in the Wicked King. Um, and then uh, the artwork is on the front and back of this. It's a really cool Alcrate. Um, I haven't gotten Alcrate in a while because um, a lot of their books are ones I'm already getting from other boxes. But um, yeah, they do a really good job with theirs. And um, I'm glad I was able to get someone's. Caravelle special edition box. Um, I wasn't able to get fairy loots, which it ended up being really cool. Um, I'm sure there's some spoilers here on YouTube or on Instagram, so you can check that out and see what the differences of them are, but I don't have that one to show you. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry it's super late, but if you haven't seen it, there you go. Uh, thank you for watching.